Okay, welcome back. Um, so right now I'm going to do another quick little demonstration to make sure your board is fully connected and you can communicate with it. This time what we're going to do is we're write a simple, really simple program that's going to collect uh, information from the board and send it to your computer. You're going to need to know how to do this if you're going to do robotics because you're going to need to take in data and you're going to need to see what those data sets are before you program your robot to behave uh, accordingly. Uh, so let's go ahead and get that going. I'm going to go with a new window here. I'm going to close that one out, just get rid of it, move this guy up. So the first thing I have to do, well remember I briefly mentioned it, set up. This runs once, this runs infinitely. Okay. So in the uh, running once section we need to first create a port Serial dot begin. And the default is 9600, which I think is a pretty fine. Now, um, a lot of times these processors are so fast that if I make a request for information, uh, especially if I do it only once and not in an infinite loop, it'll spit out that information faster than I can uh, open the window. So it's not a bad habit to get into a state here where we're going to put the, um, the robot or the processor into a loop waiting for you to open the serial window. And that's done simply by creating this while not serial. So while you don't have a serial window open, hey, let's just, uh, let's just get stuck in a loop. And that's what happens here. Now, uh, let's do something rather typical. Let's just do serial dot. I'm actually going to make some big mistakes. I love learning by mistake. Um, we'll go slightly different than the norm. We'll go high world. All right. And end it with a semicolon. So what you should see, create support. And it's going to wait for me to open the serial window. And then it's going to run in this infinite loop high world. And it's going to just keep doing it and doing it. Oops, that's not a semicolon. There we go. It's just going to keep doing it, doing it, and doing it. Um, let's load it up. Oh, that's right. i got to save it. I'm going to throw it in my poorly spelled delete. And let's call it. Uh, looks like I'm going with junk. I don't want to see this again. So let's just plain get rid of it. And it's compiling. Okay, I paused it and it's done. And let's see, so nothing's happening. Well, that's because I don't have that serial window open. There's a couple of ways you can do it. You can open it here. Um, you can keystroke it, control shift M, or you can hit this little serial monitor thing. And nothing happened. I'm gonna reload it. You can leave this window open. Oh, there we go. Well, see, what's happening is I've got it going in this loop, this crazy fast loop, and I did a really lousy job coding it. It looks terrible. It's hardly legible. It's spinning out of control. Uh, my gosh, let's see if we can let's see if we can fix this problem. Okay, first off, um, we need to slow it down a little bit. So let's throw in a delay of I don't know, 100 milliseconds. That'll give our a little more synchrony to the system, and we'll load it up. And let's open that serial window. Oops, wasn't I did it too fast? There we go. And voila! Okay, it's done exactly what I said. It's going a lot slower, a little smoother, but it still looks like junk. That's because we want to probably put it on a separate line. That's easy enough. Let's just put in an LN here, which means it's going to do high world on a separate line every time. Let's load it up. I'm leaving the window open. So it should instantly pop up. And voila. OK. It's working perfectly. Um, and it's going to keep doing this forever. All right. Let's say I want to do it mm, once. I could do that by creating another infinite loop down here. OK. 
Okay. So what should happen this time, let's clear this, is run it. It's going to open the port. It's going to be waiting for me to open the serial window. I'm going to open the serial window, and voila, it prints it once, and then it goes into this infinite loop, and right now the processor is busy chewing on nothing. So I think what I'm going to do is end this, because the other times I demonstrate uh, the, uh, the ability to send strings will have some more pertinent data. And I will see you guys again really soon.